everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm vlogging again. What? <laughs> so today I'm going to be going with a friend to Desi and Katie's squad tour meet up in Melbourne. I'm so excited and I'm so tan. <sighs> I don't tan, I really tan so yeah it's kind of different. I'm super excited and nervous. And yeah, I made sure I really took time with my makeup and made sure I blend because, you know, I'm meeting the queen of queens of makeup, I think. Uh, doing, I'll do a little quick OTTD, OT, OOTD. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> so I've got a little lace top velvet lace top here and then some oh, high-waisted pants and these shoes I chose comfort over looking cute with my shoes and yeah I don't know I just really love these pants these are my favorite because they like flow when you walk so yeah they definitely look better in person for some reason they look a bit Silly. But anyway, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll catch. There was over like 
I would say in front of us in front of us was probably a good 500 people I might be exaggerating but either more or less in front of us we ended up waiting for five and a half hours my knees and legs are never gonna be the same again but it was worth it I'm going to be like a negative Nancy right now I'm not a big fan of the photo but it's the experience that counts just to say I have gotten sunburnt those two girls seriously are so they're literally perfection and so sweet and so is Steven and John. They were just so cool. I think White Fox Boutique did a good job at sponsoring it and they did a good job at organizing it. I have no idea how many people they ended up meeting because I haven't checked Snapchat or anything. It was a pretty good day. I um, spent the night at my friends as you saw. Just as I, we were about to leave I was going to show you I washed her makeup brushes for her. She she had new Morphe brushes and I'm like to I said to her, you have to wash them before you use them. So we spent like an hour last night washing them and I helped her wash them. So yeah, and they were dry surprisingly in the morning, which was good. And she used a couple of them myself herself. I was pretty impressed about how quickly I did my makeup let me just say that and it was at I think I did my makeup at 7 30 in the morning or something like that so I'm pretty pretty impressed I have done my makeup earlier than that the photo so pretty much sometimes when I get really tired and exhausted I'm not sure if you notice and pointing at my flaws you know we're human anyway sometimes when I get really tired or I don't get enough sleep this eye gets a little bit lazy and if you follow me on Instagram I have a special like I have to position my head like tilt it like this way and then uh, like so it doesn't look lazy but when I got there pretty much it's like okay give this person your camera say hello and then these all these bright lights I was like a deer stuck in headlights and like okay pose for the po photo and then I thought totally forgot about my eyes so I'm looking straight at the camera and then with all the bright lights I'm like my eye but then I looked at the photos and it's not me who's just making a funny face. Katie had her eyes closed in both of the photos. And when I got out to check the photos, I just I looked at them like, oh no, how am I going to... I can't exactly go back and be like, hey, can I retake the photos? So, anyway, it's just a pretty much take photo. It was... Because there were so many people, it was take one photo, then go. And where we were in line as well. Yeah, as I said, it was the experience. I had a great time. It was a nice time out. It was a great Monday. It was cool singing. Uh, my f we ended up taking... My friend ended up driving to the city. And um, we got to listen to tunes and stuff, and it was fun. We had a good old sing-along. Yeah, it was fun pretty chill and fun it's just the waiting part wasn't that great it was ended up being 32 degrees I did put sunscreen on my face but I didn't on the rest of my body because I thought yeah we should be in shade most of the day no so I'm probably going to pay for this later and plus as I said I fake tan too you don't want to see my back seriously you don't want to see it night before because usually I get my boyfriend to help me do my back but I was too impatient and I'm good and I have a back applicator and I tried using that oh no my boyfriend comes home and says Laura your back's all patchy I'm like oh no and I'm like and then you're not gonna see the back but then I could see 
in the my peripheral vision some of the girls behind us judging me on my fake tan. And plus, I didn't fake tan my hands because I wash my hands all the time. So I thought, what's the point? So it's pretty much like tan. Oh, and I got really bad eczema too. When it heats up, or or if it's too cold, my just my skin. Ugh, it's so frustrating, but that's just my life. So that's why I've just got pale hands. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on how I fake tan. I'm not like I'm only just starting to get into it. I'm not like a pro at it. So yeah, just let me know. My makeup, yeah, it's pretty much melted off my face. My cheeks look all right. That's about it. My anxiety levels though today. Now my I was kind of nervous meeting them. I was shaking a little bit, but I wasn't, I didn't have anxiety. So it was just nervousness. Immediately when I have to catch public transport, my anxiety levels go through the roof. Because the platform I have to, I had to get off uh, one, the first one I had, I had to be on, I was fine with. There was like policemen there, so I was, I felt really safe. But when we went to the most troublesome one that has the most, like is considered the most dangerous station, I could see no policeman anywhere. And that just <sighs> makes me feel so anxious. But when I got to the train station, it was six o'clock and no, I think, no, it was quarter past six and my bus was at uh, 6.25 so I managed to get it in time and I didn't have to wait around because I think the longer that you wait around at that station, the more attention you'll get kind of thing. And yeah, and just, I feel a little bit unsafe there. So yeah, I'm home safe. I am exhausted. I'm probably going to wash my makeup off. I might have a snack or something. I'm really thirsty and I'm definitely going to have a bubble bath because I know my knees are going to be so sore in the morning. Early in the year when I met Michael Finch, I had to wait just as long and my knees were so sore. And a uh, good tip with meet and greets, go with, go with someone. Don't go alone because it's just much more fun when you're with someone. Sometimes I, I do get a little bit of social anxiety. I'm a little bit introverted. Yeah. And my friend is really extroverted. Two girls behind us both worked at Macro. I was like, oh my god, that's my dream job. And here's me like, please don't ask what I do for a living. Please. Oh. It just, I'm just so, I feel just kind of ashamed that I'm a cleaner, but at the end of the day, it buys me my makeup and all my equipment, so I, it's a kind of in the middle kind of job, so yeah, but eventually, slowly getting there with my client clientele with my makeup stuff. If I work a little bit harder, which I'm trying to with YouTube, maybe that might go somewhere. If not, I don't care. I just love recording videos. I just, it is so much fun. It keeps me out of trouble and keeps me busy. I love to be busy. Even though being busy sometimes makes time go a little bit faster, but that's just life. <laughs> doing what you love. Uh, thoughts with Laura. It's good to have like a friend that's extroverted and you're introverted. I mean I'm slowly coming out of my shell when I'm in social situations. It's just yeah sometimes I get like because you're standing in line in the heat I get a little bit grumpy and yeah it's just I hate waiting. 
because I'm pretty much always doing something. But then if I do feel like being lazy, I let that time to be lazy. Sometimes you just need to take a, st <laughs> take a step back and just relax. I mean, it is okay to not go 100% all the time. Don't feel guilty about relaxing. You do have to listen to your body sometimes. I was surprised about how quickly I packed and how little I packed as well. The venue that they had was it like a, a studio in uh, the more fancy part of the city, which is, yeah, the more richer part. Everything was so pretty. So pretty much as you walk in, it's like, not a very big studio, so they let like 30 to 40 people in at a time and they would have like ropes and stuff that you follow along and then they had this big wall and it had flowers and stuff and then around that they had like a little couch and you chuck your bags on that and then they had like big studio lighting and I think they had a white fox boutique wallpaper background thingamajig. Oh, yeah, and then you take photos, blah, 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 and meet them. And I'm hoping I'm in their vlog, but I, I hope not. Because <laughs> I look like a potato, I think. Me and my friend did buy them something, but we forgot to bring it. Because we were so rush, rush, rush. Yeah, we bought them a big bag of twisties, because that's what I wa wanted. This is going to sound super sad, but to me it's like, oh, that's so cool. I tweeted them and they replied back. It was so cool. I, I was very cheesy. I'm like, are you ready to party? And Desi replied back, that we are. And I got like six retweets. And then I think it had like a hundred likes. So I'm like, oh. That's probably the most I've ever gotten on Twitter before. I'm not that overly active on Twitter. If you want to follow me on my social media, go follow me down below. There's links and there's my little tag stuff. Click that bell notification if you would like to be notified every time I upload because I have a weird I don't have set days on when I upload, but I do want to start uploading twice a week. Just so I can get more content out there and to show that you guys I'm here, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to post once a well, fingers crossed I'm posting, not going to post one once a week. I want to try and aim for twice a week because I feel just better doing that. Like this vlog if you liked this. As I said in my last vlog, I definitely want to start vlogging. But only when I'm doing stuff and if there's an event or something, I definitely want to whip the camera out for that. But yeah, as I said, my day-to-day -day life is kind of boring. I don't have a glamorous life like Desi and Katie. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And there's definitely going to be more makeup videos and vlogs and all those fun things. I love you guys so much. Thanks for always sticking around and always supporting me, liking my videos and watching them. And yeah, thank you for all your support. I really, really, you don't know how much I appreciate it. I love you guys.